everyone. So I hope you're all doing okay today. Um, I'm sorry if this is a little bit dark and dingy. When I, what kind of accent was that? That wasn't my accent. Anyways, I woke up this morning and it was all nice and bright and I thought, oh, I'll film my video today. And then I've just sat down, literally just sat down to do it and it's chucking it down really badly. The sky is black in front of me. So yeah. And uh, this video isn't going very well so far. Suddenly I've got this weird accent. Um, it's gone dark and dingy and downstairs the music is blasting and that's gangman gangman style or whatever however you say it I don't even know what it is song has just come on so I'm distracted by that and how hilarious it is I don't even know if I can continue but I'm gonna so sorry if you can hear that by the way um today's video I thought I'd show you some of the things I've bought the past two or three weeks um because I bought some things and I don't know I don't know I suppose it's a haul really but uh yeah, there's not that much stuff, so I'm not really going to call it a haul. It's just what I've been purchasing. So, I'm going to start with jewellery first because there's only two bits. And I'm apology if I've shown you them before. Um, I can't even remember if I've shown these before, but I'll show them again, whatever. So I went in International and I got these earrings, these big hoops. They're like quite large ones with this little um, cross on the front. And it's diamond tea, which you can see there. I got them for... How much were they? I think they were two ninety nine, and I was so happy when I seen them because I wanted, I don't know, I think I mentioned in another video that I wanted the ones from Topshop, but I wanted the small ones, but they didn't have any small ones, so I got big ones. I'll settle for big ones. And then I also got this chain necklace. I've been looking for a chain necklace for so long, and I finally found one in um, H&M, and it looks like this. It's, um, it's not massive, it just kind of comes to about there. And this was six ninety nine, which I thought wasn't bad for something that I've worn so much and will get a lot of wear out of. But what I love is, as you can see there, it's like gold. But when you turn it over, it's like a cream colour. It's like got cream and embossing on. And I love that. So, yeah. It's a bit versatile. You can wear it whichever way around you want. Um, next thing, going back to International. Now, I haven't, I haven't repurchased this. Um... I showed this top in, a, in my last haul, which is this blouse with the studded collar. Now, I just want to tell you how angry I am about this top. So angry. Right. I was mentioning that I might take it back because the collar didn't lie right and there was thread coming out of it. And then I washed it because I thought, you know what, I'll just keep it. Stop being picky. I washed it and all the studs fell off. Like, there was only three left on. I was so angry, so I took it back to the shop and I said, look, this top is no good, I want my money back, because I don't want another one if it's just going to do that again. And they said to me, they couldn't give me my money back, and they could only give me another product, because, like, nobody else had bought one of these tops back in the same fault. And I was like, well, look, it's happened to mine. I washed it according to the instructions, which is just, like, a 30-degree wash. I did that, and then, um... They said they could give you their money back, but they'd have to send it away to their factories to get it tested to see if it was a genuine fault. Now, to me, that is just ridiculous. They just don't want to give me my money back. So, in the end, I said, look, just give me another one. Like, how, how can I guarantee that I'll get another one? I'll get my money back if I give it to you to send off. They were just being ridiculous. Now, it had be it was fourteen ninety nine. So they give me another one, and then annoying again, they didn't have the one that I wanted, so I had to get it in the bigger size. So now I'm left with a top that I don't really want. That is a size too big for me, and if I wash it, the studs are probably going to fall off again. So I just wanted to warn you, like international I've been there quite a few times and I've tried to repair, like take things back before and they have been a bit dodgy like not giving my money back only giving me credit in the store and that's just because they're a shop that is tight and will give you your money back but um just a word of warning if you are going to buy something and you think you might want to take it back or get your money back if you it's ruined or something I just watch out because I don't think that um ink to give them money back but that is the last time I shop there ever Anyways, moving on to Primark, because I know we all love Primark. Um, I just got this burgundy colour top with like white speckles in it, which kind of reminded me of the speckle tops in Topshop. But um, this one was only £5, and it looks a little bit batwing, if you see there. A little bit, not too much. Um, it's like all one length, 
all the way down so it's not like um, dip pen or anything but what I like is the seam comes down the middle as you can see there and it's just a really nice baggy top for like winter time I like it for winter time and I love the colour for winter time so got that for five pound and then I also got a jacket which is hiding under here here we go my jacket which is the, my favourite purchase of this month it's this khaki coloured jacket I had my eye on it for so long khaki coloured jacket with leather sleeves now obviously this isn't real leather but they had so many imitations they like this is an imitation of the Topshop ones I see it in River Island um, all over the place they've been and yeah it's got two pockets at the front there it's got pockets either side at the bottom like it's got a toggle to make it tight around the waist so it cinches you in you can cinch it in at the bottom as well but I wouldn't cinch it in at the bottom just not how I roll and yeah the back of it's plain and it's really really nice sorry you can't really see it properly but if you want to see a better image of it you can go on my Instagram and there's lots of pictures of me wearing it on there in outfits of the day and things and this was £25 which you might say is a bit pricey for Primark stuff but I think it's a bargain because I've worn this non-stop since the day I bought it so yeah and the leather it doesn't feel like a cheap leather it generally feels like a nice leather um yeah it's been really nice so that's that for £25 and then another thing that I got from Primark is a dress which I'm actually going to take back but I'll explain that whole story um this is what the dress looks like first of all it's like a peplum dress with a little black skirt on the bottom it's jersey material um, this black um, fabric, like black and white fabric, this is kind of embossed and feels um, like nice and soft. I can't think of the right word for it right now, but it's really nice. At the back of it, it's um, kind of like a V shape and it zips. That is a zip. There, that is a zip, but it's really not opening now. And this was £15, which again I thought was quite a good price, a bit more expensive, but you pay in for something that looks quite good quality. It doesn't have a line, does it have a line in? No, it doesn't have a line in, but oh well. So that's £15, but um, I bought it specifically for a party that I'm going to, and I'm taking it back only because it's way too short. Um... I tried it on and everything so I thought it would fit like in the shop and it was a fine length in the shop but when I got home and tried it on again I did that thing that you do where you walk around the house and you walk up and down the stairs and you could just, it wasn't really staying down, it wasn't really covering me up so I'm, I'm taking it back because I did find another dress which is nicer but if you do see this in Primark and you want to get it I don't want to put you off getting it because it is a really really nice dress um, for £15 and it seems good quality and everything so don't let me put you off just because it's too short because I am a tall person I'm like 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven and a half which is quite tall so um, if you're shorter or of average height or whatever um, this probably will be a nice length for you and plus my height is all in my legs like so yeah that's why I'm taking it back but the dress I got alternatively is from New Look I forgot there um the next two things I'm going to show you are from New Look and it's this dress here which is this is like a creamy colour which you can see it's kind of got like this section in here and it's peplum again with a black skirt but you can see there the material is so nice and thick you can see that it's kind of textured and it is on the top as well the zip again goes down the back it goes all the way down to here so it's really nice and easy to slip on and off and yeah it really feels really nice it's got the white lining underneath so it's nice and thick in that and um this was how much was this this was 24.99 and um, I thought that was quite good, £25 for a good dress that uh, definitely lasts me a long time because I think even though peplum might just be in for so long, I think it's something that I'll probably wear for a long time because it's really flattering. So that was that. And then the next dress I got from New Look, um, again was £24.99 and I got this for another party. Um, and I, the colour is what attracted to me. I think it's lovely. It's this 
bright colour, this bright blue colour. Um, it looks really bright blue on the camera, but it's actually a little bit more indigo. It's got a little bit more purple in, but it's again like a ribbed kind of fabric. This is kind of stretchy. That one isn't as stretchy. This has got a bit more stretch in it, but it's a skater dress, and you can see there it's got pleats in. It looks like that, and it's really flattering, really, really flattering. So, yeah. That's that. It doesn't have a fastening on or anything because it is big enough just to, it is stretchy enough just to hoi on. So yeah, that was that as well. And I think that's everything. Oh, I'll quickly show you this other bracelet that I got, which is from H&M. Um, it looks like this. Like that. And I really liked it because of this bit here. I really like that little gold detail in. Um... And that was a pound from H&M, so not as interesting, but thought I'd tell you. The only thing I hate about it is the fastening is like that, and it's so difficult to get on, and it does fall off a lot, but hey-ho. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. Like I said, not been buying much, trying to save up for summer holidays already. But um, I'm going to town now to return that dress, and I can guarantee you I'll probably end up buying something else while I'm there, because that's just what happens, isn't it? So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, you can subscribe and like this video and comment if you want. I like reading comments. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr and Instagram. I'll put the links below, but they're all at Fashion Creeper. And that's everything for today. So, until the next time, I hope you have a lovely week. Bye!